Hi, and welcome to Antelope Valley Schools Transportation Agency, or AVSDA, safety and training video series. Each video will cover specific areas of workforce training and compliance regulations, and can be viewed in part or in whole as part of our ongoing commitment to facilitate employee safety, productivity, and knowledge. As part of the pre-trip inspection, the following outlines the verbal narration and the physical demonstrations drivers are required to conduct. For drivers to effectively complete the pre-trip training procedures inside, the actual testing is timed. This video adaptation has been modified and sequences have been slowed down to show proper procedure. Buses vary in equipment, gauges, and design. The bus used for this video is a 2016 model. Starting at the back of the bus, you want to make sure you have no leaks or anything hanging from the engine compartment. Walking down the side of the bus, you want to make sure you have no new body damage, no cracked or broken windows. The carrier name and number and the bus number are clearly marked. The finger guards are secure. The stairwell has no hazards or debris. The handrails are secure, and the step well light is secure. Our handheld stop sign is clearly marked on both sides. Handle is secure. Oil pressure is at 40. Water temperature norm for this bus is 210. Our volts are normal between 12 and 14. They're at 14. Our fuel is above half a tank. We don't leave the yard with less than half a tank of fuel. We have a single supply gauge with dual needles. Our tachometer. Needle moves freely. Throttle is secure. And our speedometer. We have a PM mileage and date. The service interval is every 3,000 miles or 45 calendar days, whichever comes first. And our service brake is secure. Parking brake, ignition key, gear selector, reverse with audible, drive, back to neutral. Windshield wipers working on high and on low. And to activate the washer fluid, you push the knob. Headlights are on and working on the dash. Panel dim switch working. Master switch for our warning lights. Ambers on and working on the dash. Reds on and working on the dash. Stop arm deployed. Air horn working. Entry door opens and closes. Midship heater working on low and on high. Rear heater working on low and on high. Noise suppression system working. Internal air drains, working, auxiliary fan working on the left, on low and on high, right auxiliary fan working on low and on high, power for our cruise control, on and working. Steering wheel can have no more than two inches of play. Electric horn works. Hazard lights on and working on the dash. Left indicator on and working on the dash. High beams on and working on the dash. Right indicator on and working on the dash. Steering column adjuster right here. Front heater's fan speeds defroster fan speeds, and regulators. Fog lamp switch is working. 
All interior lights are working front to rear. Strobe light and pilot working on the panel. Mirror heater switch working on the panel. Front AC working. Rear AC working. Driver's seat is adjusted and secure. Seat belt is secure and works. Driver's windows open and close freely. We have four required mirrors. We have a left and right flat adjusted to see one inch of the side of the bus, 200 feet behind the bus, duels on the ground. Cross view mirror is adjusted to see across the bus. Interior flat mirror is adjusted to see all students and emergency exits. Now we'll check for securement. Two-way radio secure. Microphones are secure. Pop-out windows are secure. Visor secure. Interior mirror secure. Auxiliary fans are secure. Pop-outs are secure. Emergency equipment. Our first aid kit. The seal is secure to prevent dust and moisture. We store three documents inside, an accident seating chart, proof of insurance and its current, and our vehicle registration. The VIN number matches our CHP 292. The 292 is marked school bus. It's for this bus. It's been signed by our motor carrier specialist. It's a 76 passenger vehicle, so we need 24 units in our first aid kit. Driver counts each unit out loud, then replaces documents back in kit and returns box to emergency overhead compartment. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 2, 24, 25. Moving to our fire extinguisher. The pin and seal are secure. It's charged in the green. The nozzle is free of debris. We need a minimum 8 BC. This is a 10 BC. It has to be inspected annually by the fire marshal or delegate and this one is current. And then we shake it so the contents don't settle. Now we check from the waist up for hazards and securement, including windows and latches. At this point, the driver will be going back and forth several times from the front of the bus to the rear, conducting a series of checks and tests, including releasing emergency latches, then re-securing. Drivers should remember to audibly indicate every checkpoint as secure as they are proceeding. Secure, secure, secure. Secure, 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 secure. Emergency exit is clearly marked with instructions. Exit opens. Secure, secure. We have an emergency window. Emergency exit is clearly marked with instructions. We have a light and buzzer on the dash. Secure. Secure and secure. Emergency exit is clearly marked with instructions below. Head guard is secure. Pop out window is secure. We have a light and a buzzer on the dash. Secure. Secure. Emergency exit is clearly marked with instructions. We have a light and buzzer on the dash. I'm going to check a window on either side of the bus, alternating one every day to make sure that they all work properly. Secure. Secure. 
Emergency exit is clearly marked with instructions. And it opens. Secure. 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 Emergency exit clearly marked with instructions below. We have a light and buzzer on the dash. Walking back, I will be checking modesty panels and seat backs for securement. Secure. 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 And secure. Coming forward, I'll be checking from the waist down for hazards and securement. Secure. 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 Secure and secure. And this completes the interior portion of the pre-trip. This concludes the pre-trip training procedures inside only. The other parts of this training are located on separate videos. Please contact your AVSTA trainer for access. Thank you for your participation in today's training session. AVSTA is fully committed to the safety and well-being of all of our employees.